Welcome aboard this beautiful Maritimo. The object of this video is to do basically an instructional operational video of the ZF Smart Command control system, including JMS. So first coming on board this, this vessel with ignitions on, we'll have this continuous tone, meaning no one is in command at the vessel. Holding the control set button for one and a half seconds will give you active command at any one station with two green solid lights. If I could demonstrate split pair functionality in changing command between the joystick and the throttle levers, it goes like this. So one press of the station for the joystick and two green lights will give you joystick operation. The 5200 lever is the dominant source of control. This meaning anytime you move a lever and go back into neutral, it will resume command away from any other function. Accessing the modes on the 5200 control lever is as simple as pushing the mode button whilst in neutral and accepting which mode you would like to select by holding the control set button. By pushing the mode once into easy dock and holding the control set button, representation of easy dock and auto troll will be given by fast or quickly flashing lights to indicate these two modes are active in trolling functionality. This means the transmissions clutches are slipping to a controlled rate to reduce propeller and shaft speed for easy maneuvering. Once the mode is active and you wish to exit the mode back to cruise mode or clutches locked up, simply hold the mode button for two seconds until the lights return to solid and green. Accessing auto troll mode in the same way we went through easy dock is simply done by pushing the mode button down to auto troll and holding the control set button until we're accessed. Again, we have fast flashing lights to indicate trolling mode and clutches are slipping. When we're in gear, the light will function into a red color and stay that way throughout the trolling range. To exit this mode, hold the mode button again Green solid lights indicate cruise mode or clutches fully locked up. So 100% thrust will be active. Warm up mode is another function that's quite handy. As we access this mode, you will see that the lights will blink slowly. This indicates flight revs or free revs without clutches engaging. So a skipper or an owner can access this mode on first startup and increase RPM without gears engaged to warm up the engines accordingly. Reverting back to neutral and holding the mode button will exit this mode. The final mode I'd like to go through is one lever mode. Now if I access one lever by the mode button, you'll find I can't access one lever mode unless I am in gear. So I push the mode button to access one lever mode, hold the control set button to accept, remove the gear that I do not want to use back to neutral and activate the shaft line that I do wish to control both, both engines on. You will see via the can track display one lever lit up and also both shaft lines increasing in RPM. To go back to neutral it will remain in one lever mode and you will continue to be able to drive on one shaft line controlling two engines. To exit the mode Simply hold the mode button and accept with control set. Now we have independent shaft line control back again. I 
I'd like to demonstrate split pair functionality at the second station, so transitioning command from the helm uh, back out here to the second station. So taking command at the second station is as simply as selecting control. Two green lights indicate command at station number two. You'll see that we have two green lights on the joystick also. This means this entire station is in control. To demonstrate split pairing, at any one time, the throttle levers are a dominant source of control. If I move the lever, you will see that the joystick is only now one green light, indicating that the command has gone and returned back to the throttle levers. This demonstration probably stems into the VCAN display also. So for any throttle activation, you'll see an increase of the bar all the way up to 100% throttle. And back to neutral. Taking command at the joystick, we have access to three directional movements that can be overlaid. The direction that you move first will be the dominant movement, but you can incorporate, for example, moving ahead with some yaw. Ahead, astern, which is commonly referred to as surge. A simple twist of the joystick will activate yaw functionality to turn the vessel on its center point. And finally, sway to shift the vessel from starboard to port or from port to starboard. Any of these directions can be overlaid in order to effectively maneuver the vessel. While still active in JMS mode in command at the joystick, you'll find that as I move the joystick forward incrementally, both shaft lines will activate into forward motion, represented by F. Moving the joystick astern will do the same in reverse or astern. Your function will put one shaft line in forward and one in reverse, as well as incorporating the thrusters, bow and or stern to function as a yaw maneuver. The VCAN display is not only for monitoring, um, it's also for displaying what mode is active and at what time. Cruise mode represents clutches fully locked up using the throttle levers. By taking command with the joystick, you'll see two green lights active in command at the joystick and represented by JMS, Joystick Maneuvering System. It will do the same for accessing auto troll mode and other functionality. The VCAN will represent what mode is active. For this demonstration purpose, the vessel is not moving, but while commanding the joystick or the levers, propeller shaft speed will increase if we're up and underway, shown by this on the VCAN. To activate the mode of eye anchor or position hold, we first must be in command at the joystick by pushing the button. The VCAN will replicate joystick command here shown on the screen. Any one button will bring up this menu. The left, the button on the far left shows all the modes in a pack of cards. By pushing that, then activating the anchor for eye anchor, we must first select and then turn on. To remove ourselves from this mode, we can touch any button on the screen 
and simply turn it off or command throttle from the levers. Propeller RPM is shown by the numbers reflective on the VCAN screen. Thanks for joining us on this educational video on all things ZF, Smart Command and JMS Operational.